Hey everyone, good evening. My name is Ellery. I'm the health adventurer and I wanted to give you an update on something that I tried recently. Um, so for those of you guys who don't know me and are new to my channel, um, I have been a raw vegan for three months now and um, you know it's actually been going really really well. I've been eating really mostly just fruit because um, I've been dealing with some autoimmune uh, problems related to lupus, scleroderma, and rheumatoid arthritis. And I have found that, you know, going vegan helped a lot of things. It helped my acne. Um, but it wasn't enough to uh, help me through these autoimmune problems that started showing up. So what happened was I, I learned about uh, raw veganism and I decided to uh, jump in and since then uh, my symptoms with rheumatoid arthritis in particular have gotten significantly better. Um, but since starting the diet, you know, I was really curious about, you know, is this something I'd want to do for long term or is it what I eventually want to try incorporating um, some more like maybe raw fish or something like that to keep it raw, um, but you know, to get a, maybe a little bit more protein and some omega-3s and make it a little bit easier for myself. Um, I was also noticing that eating a lot of fruit seemed to be a little bit hard on my teeth, so I thought, hey, maybe I'll go ahead and uh, try something like fish because it's not going to be really hard on my teeth, <laughs> right? So what happened was, um, so I, I decided to get some uh, sushi from a restaurant that I know has really good sources. They're very, very particular about the quality of the fish itself, and they, they don't overload um, with different flavors and things like that. They really want the fish itself to stand out. So, and I used to actually work at this place, and uh, so I knew it was a really good place, and I decided to get some sushi, and me and my boyfriend got some, uh, you know, just sashimi, some salmon sashimi. And so I had approximately, it was basically four pieces of it, so not very much. I didn't want to go too crazy. Um, so it ends up being about two ounces, I guess. That's about how much that was. And it seemed okay at first, um, but then uh, maybe 20 minutes later or so, I was like, okay, well, I want to make sure if I'm eating fish that I'm getting the heavy metals out. So I had like a, some orange, I, I made like a little smoothie with oranges and spirulina just to pull those heavy metals out. And I don't know if it was the two things together or if it was just the fish itself, but it just, it seemed like my digestive system didn't really like it. Um, it was kind of bubbling and making some weird noises that I'm totally not used to. Um, so it just, my body seemed to kind of be rejecting it. And then later in the evening, um, in the middle of the night, I woke up and I had some symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis again, just a little bit, you know, my hand kind of went into like a, like a claw, like my joints were kind of stiff. So, and that's something that I hadn't been experiencing at all. Um, with fruit, um, I'd experienced it with vegetables, as if you follow my channel, you might know that. At any time I've tried vegetables, my, uh, you know, raw vegetables, or even, you know, cooked vegan wasn't doing anything for me either, so, but the, the raw vegetables, anytime I'd eat them, my hands would do something weird. So, um, and, and obviously I need my hands to work, so I've been pretty much just eating fruit, which sounds really crazy, um, but there are other people that do it. Um, I was actually recently on YouTube watching this uh, this lady from Texas. She has her channel is called Texas Fruitarian, and uh, she pretty much just eats fruit and some kind of more easily digestible vegetables, um, including things like tender greens, um, celery, and she might inc incorporate something like tomatoes or um, cucumbers and things like that. So. Um, there are other people that do do it, and she actually has kind of a similar situation to mine where she had um, MS and she was able to, she wasn't able to walk, and um, veganism by itself was not doing anything for her. And what she found was when she went raw, 
all of her symptoms eventually got better. Of course, there's like a detox period, um, you know, where it can be kind of confusing knowing whether or not you're getting better or not. Um, but she eventually, now she's walking, she's healthy, um, you know, she has no signs of MS anymore, which is really, really incredible. Um, so she she actually eats mostly fruit um, as well. So it's it's kind of an interesting thing, you know, she's it, to see other people, you know, there's not a lot of people that are eating only fruit. Um, so it's kind of cool to see some other people that are out there having success with that as well. So, and for me, you know, again, with my hands, uh, with rheumatoid arthritis, um, you know, I need my hands to work because um, there were times where it would get so bad, you know, my hands would close up on me or it would get really sore. Um, so it, it, they, won't, they won't work properly when I eat certain things. And also I've actually kind of found lately that I may need to back off uh, what is called overt fats. So um, coconut and avocado particularly. Um, I've noticed some flare-ups with some things when I eat too much of that. So um, yeah, I, I, I was kind of doing a lot of those things to try to lessen the burden on my teeth. Um, but unfortunately, uh, you know, my body to me is more important right now. And obviously, I'm, I'm taking care of my teeth as much as I can. So I'm basically, basically every time I eat, I try to eat larger meals um, less frequently throughout the, throughout the day. So I'll do that and then basically I'll eat, I'll set a timer and I'll set it for like 30 minutes because you don't want to brush your teeth right away after you eat because you can brush the enamel away, particularly if you're eating um, kind of like acidic fruits. So I'll just, I'll set a timer and then 30 minutes later I'll go ahead and brush my teeth. So that's what I've been doing and I'll also do a little uh, rinse, mixing like a drop of clove oil with some water and then rinse out my mouth at night so I have my little natural mouthwash so I'm not putting a bunch of chemicals and stuff into my body um, as I would be if I were using mouthwash. So um, so that's what I've been doing. So I'm just going to keep going on that path. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, but again, for me, it's totally worth it. Um, will I try fish again? I don't know, maybe. Um, it definitely seemed like my body, like I was saying, didn't really appreciate it. Had some indigestion when I tried it. And then, you know, obviously had that little bit of a, <clears throat> a symptom with the rheumatoid arthritis um, that occurred. So that those are things, signs to me that obviously right now is not the time for me to eat those things. Now, I, I don't consider myself to be so much an ethical vegan at, at this time, um, just because my health is really number one, so I'm kind of trying to do whatever I need to do for my health. Obviously, I do recognize there are a lot of ethical issues around, um, you know, meat products and, and dairy, you know, they're kind of similar um, in terms of, you know, just the, the cruelty and stuff that can happen with the animals. So I, I do think about those things, um, but, you know, my focus is health. So if in the future, you know, that I, I find that my body is craving those things or maybe if my protein is really low or something like that, and if I find that that's the best way for me to, to get those nutrients or to get that protein or whatever I have to do, then, I, you know, I might make those modifications. But that being said, um, you know, I don't feel really drawn to eating meat or fish or I, I don't really actually crave it that much at all. So I uh, probably, I don't foresee adding it into my diet in the, into the, in the future, especially considering what I've experienced after cleansing myself out a little bit. Um, but I definitely need to continue cleansing and, you know, it doesn't all just happen overnight. Um, so I'm just going to keep going down this path and, and I'll keep updating you guys on how it's going for me. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep, keep an eye on things and... I'll let you guys know. So if you guys are interested in following my progress with everything, you can follow my channel, The Health Adventurer, on Periscope here. I also have a website. If you go into the description um, of my channel there, thehealthadventurer.com, and you can check out. I have a couple things up there, and I'm planning on putting up a few more blogs and uh, maybe a, a couple little raw vegan recipes or something like that. So. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'm probably going to get to bed soon. Uh, it's a little bit late here in L.A., but I will see you next time. Bye-bye.